In this video, we'll learn to extract information from frequency tables. At entry 3, you're expected to know how to extract information from lists, tables, diagrams and frequency tables. At entry 2, I've gone through how to do that with lists, tables, diagrams. So what I'll focus on in this video is frequency tables. Now, frequency tables are things that you probably have come across before and they look very similar to tally charts and I'll show how. So I have a number of cubes in my tin. What I want to do is I'll show the colours, the different colours and how many of each colour there are in a frequency table. So I'll start with colors so we've got pink ones so I'll write pink we've got brown got white And we've got black. If I had more colours, I'd include those as well. So if you're talking about maybe types of fruit or vegetable or types of food, you'd include each specific type in there. And having a heading is needed as well is really useful so we know we're talking about colors all of these are colors if it's food then you put food if it's all fruit you write fruit at the top so we've got the colors now next to it we'll record the tallies like in a tally chart so Obviously, you'd use a ruler in your notebook, but I'm just showing you quickly. So white, there is just one. And I'll put a mark there. And this is the frequency. It means the same thing as the tallies, but you're not using tallies to record it, you're using numbers. So I'll write one as a number, digit. And we've got um okay let's look at the pink we've done white look at pink we've got pink one and another one and another one and another one fifth one we go across uh oh i mixed them up so we had one two three four five two three four five and another two so five and five ten and the two twelve all together then brown And black. So brown was five and one six. Black is one and another one, another one, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. So we record these. Now for me it was easy because I separated them into colours first, but I would if they were mixed up. I would go 
right okay black where is black go to black and mark one then comes white okay where is white mark one and that's what normally happens when you go around for instance and you want to investigate um the favorite food in your class so one person might say well fish and chips is my favorite one so go to fish and chips and put a tally and maybe the next one could be pizza so you go to pizza and you do that so not they don't come in order just like i had the all the pinks all the pink um, cubes together that's what i mean now the final thing is to write the total so i would total so we've got let's pair them up because 12 and 8 we've learned before it makes 20 so it's number bonds to 20 so we've got 20 26 27 easy to count and add so 27 in total this is how you actually draw an a frequency table this is how you draw a frequency table so we'll now extract some information from the frequency table is that just some examples of the questions that you could be asked how many brown cubes are there so we're looking at brown where is brown there are six of them double checking how many more black than white cubes are there so we're comparing black with white and there we have there is one white and eight black how many more are black and that is seven because eight taken away one gives you seven one and seven gives you eight or you could just go comparing them there we have white and that's black so that's the same now this is extra that's extra and that's extra and this is extra as well so counting them one two three four five six seven and that confirms what we've just done how many fewer than pink are brown so we're looking at pink and brown all together how many fewer how many it's it's about less so we've got up to this point they are the same then we have this extra that extra that extra so we've got one two three four five six and again 12 take away six gives me six six at six gives me 12 so there are six fewer brown than pink 